me look really fucking good for a while. It's on. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, oh, there's some Camden law enforcement. It's the 5 -0. So we're going to, uh, I guess it's been, it's been about four months. I think it's been longer, probably. We're going to get some uh, testosterone pellets put in. This will be my second uh, dose of them. I've noticed that in the last, you know, I've been saying it for about a month or so probably, but really the last couple weeks my energy level is just a little low. I've noticed I've, uh, towards the end of the day, I've been using red lines and stimulants more, you know, a couple times a week, and whereas for the last, you know, month or so, I really haven't been using shit other than just a pre-workout um, on the way to the gym. Just been eating pretty, you know, pretty decent food, you know, whole food, and uh, I really haven't had to take any stimulants. Like, I'll drink coffee here and there just because I want coffee. And, uh, but I've noticed the last week or two here, like a couple times a week, more than normal, I'm using Redline. So look at the dates and it's time. They've ordered the testosterone pellets and we're gonna use those. They're gonna put them in again. We're gonna shoot another video for you guys and uh, we'll talk about it a little bit afterwards. We're gonna go in here. Um, lady puts them in the name Bridget. Bridget, not the midget. And um, she's gonna numb it up with some needles and uh, stick this big giant dull thing looks like a turkey baster in there and click all these pellets in there and pretty cool side note for those who kept up with this and for John too it's, it's crazy to me that it's been six months for one it, but, uh, it's been four months four months okay but like if you go and look at the videos before it and to now looking at skin condition and like John just overall size weight distribution everything like it is clear that the your body is like healthier that you that you have got you've grown a whole lot well we total we put on like what, 15 pounds or so probably more than that yeah. I'm, like I'm, it, I'm 205 right yeah, now and it's not they're not sloppy pounds now Fuck. we're not eating super fucking clean you know he's not dieting for any like a competition or trying to you know do anything real crazy but the fact is like his body by itself has been able to maintain a certain amount of you know lean health and then also gain size and strength and I mean I can tell you from training with him and everything the amount of muscular endurance and the amount of cardio lung endurance everything like just body's overall healthier so uh, pretty neat when you're talking about getting to basically do like your own science experiment with your body to see what it is to upregulate your hormones back to what they were you know 15 20 years ago yeah when I started working out with with Colin Colin's like, okay, we're going to take all that shit you're doing and we're not going to do none of that shit. All these fucking thousands and thousands of pounds in the gym, we're not going to lift any of that. And uh, he'd sit me down. He's like, okay, form, contraction. He had me, you know, not, not making the movement nearly as big as I was or as far as I was. He's like, that's not how you do this. We gotta, we're going to fix some problems for a few months and then we're going to start adding weight. So I'm way bigger than I was. I don't have the aches and pains. I have much more uh, flexibility and movement. Um, he added in cardio, which I do three days a week. I'm doing 40, 45 minutes of cardio which at a time. Which is awesome because at first, five, 10 minutes of cardio and you were, one, you hated it, and two, it was like, it was right. five, 10 minutes, you know, like lungs were starting to get taxed. And now, right. 45 minutes, you're like, I wasn't fun, but like it wasn't hard. And then and core stuff, we do, you know, we'll do 100 rep 100 you know flutter kicks 100 crunches ab roller ab roller all that shit so i'm 205 i'm i'm 15 pounds heavier with doing cardio three times for 45 minutes a week so yeah. so i've definitely i've lost fat i've lost you know gut um but i've gained muscle so i'm i'm way up on the scale even with all the uh cardio stuff so this shit, it works. It's yeah. uh, it's definitely not Mexican pharmaceutical, like you know what you're getting. <laughs> so let's go in here and get we'll, your butt plugged. We'll take you guys in there with us. Okay. Are you done yet? Yeah? Cheap. Cheap. So if you video this enough, y'all be able to do this to each other. That's what we're hoping. Okay. No big deal. Actually, I'd rather not. <laughs> you don't want to do it. I'll just let I'll let the uh, the professionals. Install. But I am gonna like my insurance changes and everything. Yeah. See about it. I'll be 29 this January. Hey, let me tell you something. We putting in. I noticed it the other day. My daughter. Well, she's same age. I guess your your daughter is. She goes to high school with her. 
I, I noticed that birthday come by. It was born in 97. Testosterone shots. I'm a 17 year old, for hmm. real. Wow. And I uh, looked at his testosterone, 124. Holy shit. 124 maybe on a 17 year old. Tested my own 19 year old and his was 286. Yeah, why so low? I, I don't know, something is bad up with the environment or something or the way they eating or something. Here you go, stick and burn. Yeah, that fucking burns. Oh, it doesn't. Yeah, it fucking did. <laughs> <laughs> okay, don't tell me next time. Well, this they shouldn't hurt as bad. That was just the <laughs> yeah. The initial one is the one that. That's gets the them. one I bubble up. I try. Man, I'm really not looking forward to this. Uh, it's too late now. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> Those booster pellets aren't sounding as good to them now. It sounds so as funny. they did before. Whenever we got, we, you know, like anytime we're about to do this, he's like, "I am not looking forward to this." I'm like, oh, come on. It's not even that bad. <laughs> it's not really that bad. Well, you bad. watch these videos, and then you can help me put in hits. <laughs> he can't help. He can He can just watch. I'm telling you, up in Nashville, where um, I first started getting mine, it's like an assembly line. There was a nurse, and that's all she did all day. Just one after another. Was it at a HRT clinic? Well, it was not HRC that a lot of people use. It was like New Life Physicians, Dr. Morgan. Williams. But that's what they do. Yeah, yeah, she was just hormones. Well, I'll take that back. They had diet. They had facial. They had, it was just nothing but a, you know, a fancy look, look good, feel good clinic. That's what it was. Or is that starting to feel weird back there? Yeah, you might want to give me some more shots though. Well, I'm about to fill my syringe back up. Well, didn't she give me more last time? Did I have to? Do you remember? I don't think so. I don't know. <laughs> Do you feel that? <laughs> no. I know you're stabbing that scalpel in me. I don't think I see nose from that. <laughs> yeah, that's why. Yeah. Colin's like, hey, when she said, did you feel that? Did you feel that? I'm like, no. I'm like, it was, got, it was getting cool about that time. He's like, yeah, because she just stuck that thing right in your butt. <laughs> See, I made it so little. See, I can't hardly get my thing in here, but I'm going to try to wedge it in there. So I don't have to make a, a bigger cut. That's why I have a small woman. I feel that. How many was that? Oh, I just got that jab at trocar in there. That's yeah, what we're, still, we're still drilling for oil right now. <laughs> <laughs> Taking core samples. <laughs> Man, people watch that first video and they're like, man, I had to shut that off. I couldn't watch that. I thought I wanted to get that done. I don't know if I can do it. But you know, it's a 50-50. It's, it's either the wife or the husband comes in or the friend and they watch it and they about pass out and they get sick and they want to leave or they're ready to make an appointment because they thought it was way worse than what we just Dude, did. It's about the most uninvasive thing you could probably get done. I mean, it's not that, I guess, you know, when somebody says, oh, people bleed. Now, he doesn't bleed. Well, I mean, you believe when you get a paper cut. Like, we believe for all kinds of stuff. But, but I've had people that I can't, I couldn't do this fast enough because it's running down. Now that, when you see that happen, well, I did a lady's the other day and she brought her grandson. And I thought, oh gosh, of all the ones for him to have to watch, <laughs> this probably wasn't a good one. She's over here bleeding. I was going to bring Cody, my, my 16-year-old. Well, now 16, he probably <laughs> like that. This dude was probably about no, six. No, he, he, uh. He wouldn't do well with it, I don't think. Like, there's things that we watch, and, and he just kind of cringes. It'd be funny to watch him watch this. That way, if he passed out, it'd be a good video. Boy, I feel that shit going in. Oh, why? I guess the numbing medicine down deep hadn't, but or you, didn't do good. If you could really feel, if you knew <laughs> yeah, what was going yeah, on, yeah, yeah, you, sure. you'd know it would be worse. Well, his leg wouldn't be still. She's using a four-gauge needle. Because sometimes... If um, I hit a spot that's just not numb at all, yeah, then... People will come off the table. Oh, yeah. Well, that leg will jerk. Yep. Yep, yep. The most important part is this right here, is that I get them down in there good. And that's where I quit. Just a minute ago, I didn't put the rest of those in. Because see, I met resistance, and I didn't want to... Mm -hmm. So if you don't get them in good, what happens? They just don't dissolve as well? Because they're oh, not Oh, they'll back enough. out. Oh, shit. Yes. Under the skin? 
Yeah, it'll. What happens is, you know, and in case it ever happens to you, and you don't have, to, you can tell me if it gets too bad, and I'll do something about it. But it'll back out. It doesn't happen right then. It might happen in a couple of weeks. It just slowly backs out, and it gets really irritated. And of course, you can't see it, so you tell him, say, "Dude, look at my butt." And he looks at it. It's like a zit. You yeah. pop it like a zit. The pelt pops out. Yeah. It heals right up. So I should just eat it right then, so it's still in my body. <laughs> Well, no, I wouldn't no, do that. No, no. <laughs> and don't give it I mean, to him wanna, either. We don't want to waste this testosterone. Well, and, and that's what they say. Is it kind of, but, you know, there's been people that theirs have fallen out so late. Yeah, it's almost all done. Okay. Let me put your bandage that's on. That's it? That's it. Yeah, see, that one wasn't as bad. The needle was the worst part. <laughs> it's 10 cc's of lidocaine. That's like me numbing up for a big old... No telling, 30 stitching wound or something. Well, That's a lot that, of lidocaine. I got that much lidocaine. Why don't you go ahead and pull this tooth I need out? Doesn't work that way. <laughs> Not up there. Yeah. We'll numb you there. And then... You rolling? Yep. So, um, we just left the doctors and uh, had the pellets put in, which you guys saw. Went out, they ran some blood work, um, check estrogen levels, stuff like that, to see if we need to do anything to address that. And uh, as we were walking out, as I was getting my blood taken, dude says, hey, is that John Willis in there? Is that what he said? Yeah, he was like, he's like, what are y'all doing? And, and uh, told him he said, you filming your visit? And he said, yeah, John doesn't like needles, so that makes this a, a whole lot more fun for me. He's like, Which oh, you should, get, you should get HRT replacement. They'll use a giant needle. Colin says, yeah, that's what we just, that's what he did. And uh, we got to talk. Dude is a customer of ours, and he just... You know, saw me walk in there. I guess yeah, Tactical Response alumni, an alumnus, and uh, he's one of us. Has a little bit of product, and he said this is his second round getting HRT put in, and this is mine as well. And he said, "Man, it's just made a world of difference for him, and uh, it has myself as well." Um, I don't feel any pain at all right now. Um, last time I could tell that you know they had put a bunch of shit inside me, and uh, actually. What side they put it? I'm thinking it's in this side. It's it's on the other. Yeah, it's, it's on my right, in, side, yeah, this right side this I'm time. I'm flexing my left ass cheek trying to feel it. That's not even where it's at. That's okay because whenever it gets sore, when it wears I'll, off, I'll know to, I'll know to punch you on your right ass cheek. So we're heading back to the shop and uh, we'll resume the day as normal. And tomorrow it'll be a little tender. You uh, they put this occlusive dressing on there. <laughs> That'll stay on for three days, then you peel that off and there's a little butterfly bandage and you leave that on. It's a nice check. You leave that on there until it just comes off on its own. Um, don't soak it, so no hot tub, no bathtub, but shower as normal, which is the same as last time. And uh, in about a week here, I should start to feel um, Peppy. superhuman. Again. Like they asked. Even more so. Like they always say, what superhero would you be? And uh, I'm a little old for the superhero shit. And I don't have any special powers. I mean, other than remarkably good looks and charm, like that stuff. But uh, it's not unreasonable to think that I could be like Tony Stark. Playboy philanthropist, billionaire. Well, billionaire, and uh, have an Iron Man suit for to give me my special powers and design shit. So uh, we'll just put our my laboratory in the new building. So, um, ask questions. We will answer them on the video. Um, if you got, if you're watching this, obviously you know where to ask the questions. If you have any questions, ask them, and uh, Colin or myself will address those questions. And uh, if you're thinking about doing this and you got any questions, you know, and, and along those lines, let me know, and uh, we'll be happy to, you know, answer it. That's it.